the fast of Daniel, 21 days, before the face of God. It is for us, Lord Jesus, a privilege to have faith to talk to you. We sometimes see people, they don't have faith to talk to you. They have faith, let's say it, to go to the lawyer's office and talk with the lawyer and confess things to the lawyer, seek help with the lawyer. But some people, they don't have faith to close their eyes and to talk with the one who can really help them because they don't think or they don't believe that you can help them. They put their trust in people, in things, but not, not in you. But those who are now praying, my Lord, it's different. They are tired of uh, putting their trust in things or people in this world, in themselves, and still be unhappy. And after everything they have done, they realize that nothing changed or sometimes things they get, they got worse for them. So, Holy Spirit, I ask you now, O oh Father, may your presence who convinced this person, you convince them to be here now. You awake them earlier this morning. They wake up even before the clock the alarm sounded. They wake up. The alarm was set to 6.30 p.m. or 7 a.m. And they wake up earlier than that. And they, they, they thought, they remembered the program and they just connected to the YouTube. And there they are. You called them earlier this morning because you wanted them to hear what they heard and to pray with us and receive your spirit. So I ask you now, Lord Jesus, may your presence come upon this person. What else could I say? What else could I ask now? What else could I say? They need your presence, as I also need. But I have already your seal in me, and they don't have. Those who don't have, they need, they want. So give them, as one day you gave me, as one day you came upon me, come as well upon this person now, my God. They use the words they know how to use. They say what comes to their minds. They say what they feel inside their hearts. They just call you upon them. They just say, come because I don't want to go back to my old life. You took me from a life of darkness. You showed me your light, Lord Jesus. You used someone to show me my sins, that I was lost. And I decided to give my life to you. But I don't want to go back to that life. Because sin is close to me. Sin is always, every single day, tempting me. And I need your spirit to remain strong. Oh, my Father, listen to the words of this person. Listen to what they are saying to you now. Because they are being sincere with you. Sincere. You see how they cry before you now. You see, my God, how they try to say th things to put by words what they have inside. Sometimes it's difficult 
but you see the effort. So Holy Spirit, embrace this person now. Embrace their hearts, embrace their body, embrace their minds, their spirit, their hearts, their soul, my God. So they may receive now your greatness inside of them. Oh, my friends, I will give you a few minutes, a few moments, a minutes, two minutes for you to do your prayer there. You will not listen my voice. I will leave you just the background, instrumental background playing. And I will leave you so you can praise God, worship Him, and the Holy Spirit will come now upon you. Hallelujah. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, receive the Spirit of God. Be baptized now with the Holy Spirit. Be completely filled with the presence of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift up your hands to Him, my friend, your face, and receive the presence of God. Receive that greatness, the seal of God now in your soul, your spirit, your heart. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, take a deep breath and you may say, I receive because I believe. Amen. Amen. How do you feel? Hmm? How are you now? Different? I hope so. I believe you are. You are different. You feel different. And... This is the presence of God there. This is the presence of the Holy Spirit doing inside of you what is His will. And I would like to invite you to this coming Sunday to be with us. We will seek more the Spirit of God in the service. Actually, today, Friday, 9 p.m., Straight after the night service, we have this deliverance service at 7.30 p.m. And straight after 9 p.m., we are having a, a, a night vigil to seek the Holy Spirit. It's a 30 minutes, 40 minutes service. The only thing that we do in that service is... Seek the Spirit of God. That's the only thing that we do. We start the service seeking and we end it seeking the Spirit of God. So if you want, you can come to the night service in one of our branches. Here in Liverpool, our address is 153 North Hamberland Street in front of the Liverpool Plaza. You can go to our website and there you will see the address to all our branches, okay? And 9 p.m. we'll have this, we could say, mini night vigil to seek the presence of God. Because 10 p.m. we have our live broadcast for the, this journey of faith we are doing every week, week night, 10 p.m. So I invite you to come today. If for some reason you cannot, well, then Sunday, for sure, you will join us and you will seek the presence of God. Pray for your family Sunday. Do not forget to bring your handkerchief so it may be 
blessed with the blessed oil and the spike nut perfume, so we may consecrate, consecrate that handkerchief to God. And if you do not have the handkerchief, you may as well come. And once you arrive to the church, you may ask to one of the pastors so they can give to you the blessed handkerchief. You don't have to pay absolutely nothing to receive it. God bless you all abundantly and see you on our next program, which will be tomorrow, Saturday, same time. Bye-bye. The Fast of Daniel, 21 Days Before the Face of God, 